Hello everyone, my name is Danny, and this review is going to be for the movie called Bennett's War. This is a 2019 film. It's rated PG-13. It runs about an hour and a half. And it stars Michael Rourke, Trace Adkins, and Ali Afshar. After surviving an IED explosion in combat overseas, a young soldier with the Army Motorcycle Unit is medically discharged with a broken back and leg. Against all odds, he trains to make an impossible comeback as a motocross racer in order to support his family. This is Bennett's War. Well, I saw this in theater yesterday, and uh, it was meant to be a movie that I was hoping to see, which uh, would be family-friendly and PG-13 and just nice to watch. You know, nothing that's going to be too hard to figure out. I can just enjoy, and it ended up being that, for sure. Um, I would say that I didn't enjoy the four or five curse words that are thrown out in this movie and uh, I think they could have made it almost PG if those four or five words weren't said and uh, so that means that mostly it's just a nice movie and so that's good and uh, you know enjoyable the whole time uh, very funny very good characters decent storyline very effective things uh, with the military that would pretty much make anybody cry. Um, there's some times that really get you. And there's some times that are, you know, eh, I don't know, hard to watch. I don't know if that's the right term for it, but we'll say that. A little bit hard to watch. A little bit gory. A little bit real. And uh, the, the beginning is really cool. Like, you know, just starts off really cool. And uh, you, you can think that this movie could really go a bunch of different ways. So... When they start skipping timeline a little bit, you know, a couple months here, a couple months there, whatever, um, it, I don't know, movies always, movies that do that always kind of seem like they're missing something because they're just fast forwarding to what they want you to see, and I don't know, I just always kind of feel weird with that, but it's not like a big deal, I just don't like it when people go, you know, six months here, oh, a year later here, and, uh, sometimes it doesn't really work, you know. But uh, something happens between the beginning scene and the later parts of the movie. Just the way this movie was shot. It, I don't know if it's like based off a of true story or not. But honestly, it just is like using old material or something. It's just really fuzzy. It really seems like an olden time sometimes. And uh, it's nice that they show some of these motorcycle races and everything in their almost entirety. But, I don't know, it just seems like, you know, they show the old races in, like, an older setting, and sometimes it's slow motion, and I don't know, it's just the feel of the movie doesn't really make it feel like it was shot today, you know, I mean, like, it doesn't seem very uh, clear, it doesn't seem very effective with the slow motion stuff, uh, I don't know, it's... I feel like this, sometimes I was watching this and I come, sometimes felt like it could have, it could have been a movie that didn't go into theaters. And I, I'm glad it did and I'm glad I watched it. It was enjoyable, it was funny and all that stuff. But I just didn't feel like maybe it was a movie quality, of a, a movie theater quality, you know, of a movie. Um, it just, Trace Adkins is good. Some of his lines are a little predictable. Some of his situation is a little uh, problematic. Um, you know, you could be really critical of this movie with the things that it kind of throws out and doesn't really pay attention to any time later again. But um, it's, you know, it's fine. It's, it's a movie you just kind of watch and you enjoy. And it has a couple things you don't really like in it. And it has some really predictable things. But other than that, it's just kind of enjoyable. It's nice to watch, and you can laugh, you can cry a little bit, and you can, 
you know, say, oh, the ending was the ending, and that's it. Um, it's kind of abrupt, but um, it's an enjoyable movie, and I think Bennett's War should be getting a little bit more attention. So I'm going to give it a B, and I do suggest watching it. I do suggest, you know, seeking it out. Uh, give it a chance. Give movies like this a chance uh, that are kind of under the radar, not the main ones in the theater or, you know, maybe the main ones on your mind. But uh, give something like Bennett's War a chance because um, there could be more to this movie, but the way that they take and the way that the movie feels, I can't really explain it to you unless you watch it. Uh, it's just kind of tells you that it's a lower kind of grade movie and they're accepting it themselves you know the people on the screen they just know what's going on they you know what i mean they you, you know they're not trying to impress you any which way they're just making their movie so uh yeah a b for bennett's war do stick it out and just enjoy it for what it is don't have high expectations but don't be too critical on it either Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And enjoy your movies. Thanks.